Good afternoon and welcome to a Blind Prime discussion video. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be talking about the Hot Wheels Optimus Prime. Not the Hot Wheels Bumblebee, because apparently that doesn't transform. We're going to be talking about the transforming one, because the Bumblebee is going to be reasonably priced. Uh, I hope. I hope. Uh, I haven't heard anything on its price. But we're going to be talking about the Optimus Prime's price today. So the Optimus Prime is apparently going to be just the truck. No trailer. No trailer for you. No trailer for you. If you're a Hot Wheels fan, and you're a Transformers fan, Mattel thinks you don't deserve the trailer. Mattel thinks that the trailer's too good for you. Uh, Mattel thinks that Roller deserves a better home. So it's not even going to try and make Roller. All right? Now, I don't think Mattel's actually thinking these things, but at the same time, I can't help but think that Mattel is thinking these things because all we got is this just just the, the the transformer truck and the uh the, the ability to transform it not to his prime now i have the core class versions here because the core class version with trailer and roller and a bumblebee and a bunch of accessories cost me 50 bucks the hot wheels one without trailer with gun with no other accessories with hands that you'll lose with a head that can rotate with hips that are different apparently, will cost you 80 bucks. Now, yeah, the packaging is nice. There's a little horizontal one, so you can store your horizontally transformed Optimus Prime in his little truck mode. And there's a vertical one, so you can store your vertically transformed Optimus Prime in his little robot mode. And you know what neither of them have? Roller. Neither of them have roller or a trailer. And seriously, you know, they're asking... If they were asking $40 for a single semi-truck from Hot Wheels that could transform, I may be on board. I mean, I, I would be a lot more on board than the $80 they're asking for a die-cast Optimus Prime that can transform from you know, truck mode to robot mode. And it's G1. It's not this, okay? It doesn't have articulation. It doesn't have a complicated style it, it it's it's this it's little g1 guy here okay little g1 guy whose whose feet don't like to uh to rest anymore and whose whose wheels do spin but those feet constantly drag so this guy and this guy with this transformation that's like what in the world all right it's just it's such a stupid transformation just boom and then you just drag that part out there you flip the head up and then you just drop the legs down and there you have it that's transformed look at the rear let's look at the back oh it's disgusting okay you know this is this is what we expected from things in the 80s not things we expect from things 40 years in the future okay look plenty of off-brand companies uh, you know uh, third-party companies have made something like this but Dude, oh, wait, mine's actually got knee articulation. I forgot about that. He forgot he had knees. Uh, my bad. Uh, here I am complaining about him not having knees, and he probably got knees. Uh, been a while since I touched this toy. So there's the Optimus Prime in its robot mode from G1. It's it's not a transformation I enjoy because I consider it just it, the transformation's too simple. And. I am a, a lover of transformations. That is my big fandom on this, you know, on Transformers, is the aspect of converting them from one point to another and how complicated and cool that can, that can get, okay? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not down for G1 Optimus Prime. That's the first thing. I'm not down for that transformation, not at all. Now, I would have been down for it if it had come with its trailer because Hot Wheels makes some... Good trailers. They make some damn good trailers for their you know, for their Hot Wheels cars. Have you ever played with any Hot Wheels trailers? They're they're really cool. I like I like the little trailers. I like the box trucks and stuff. And I love logistics vehicles. So you know, bringing us some trailers would have been cool. Getting us a trailer for Hot Wheels would have been really neat because the trailer's got that big Autobot symbol on the side and it's got that cool line. It would have been cool. It would have been neat. To have, you know, racing around in the racetrack or something like that. Like, oh, there goes Optimus Prime in his trailer. Or, you know, also getting us a roller. It would have been cool if we had also gotten a roller. Because 
How amazing would it have been if we had gotten the entire core class set that we did with little roller here, but roller would be in die cast with rubber wheels. Die cast roller with rubber wheels. That would have been cool. You could have put little roller in amongst all the little Hot Wheels racetrack things. That would have been neat to have a die cast roller with rubber wheels. It doesn't transform. And they could have put all their engineering work into making a better trailer for their Optimus Prime than Hasbro made for its Optimus Prime. Because this, this trailer here is cool, but there's parts of it that do kind of, kind of are weird. But you wouldn't get any of this spare weapons. You wouldn't get this thing that I keep breaking off because this joint is really tight. Get out there, joint, you stupid tight thing. And you wouldn't be getting any of this cool stuff. The little battle station, the battle station's neat. You know, you gotta include the battle station if I could get it to work right, but you know, yeah, it's just the curse of this channel. Oh wait, let's, let's, let's sit that piece down there. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on now. Yeah, so it's giving me it's giving me some troubles. It, it, it's giving me heartache. We're, we're not gonna we're just gonna put it away. We're just gonna put it away. It, it's it's causing me too much problems. <laughs> this stupid uh, stupid thing is just sometimes I think it's seriously broken. Um, but it's not. It's just uh, they 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 could have made a connector point a little sturdier and they could have made the joints a little weaker for this. They did not need to be as tight as they are for the little thin piece of plastic that folds up. Anyway, um, I probably lost another little gun in the process of doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere around here. Oh no, the bumblebee little gun disappeared. Crap. Should have been more careful with that. That's on me. That's on me. All right, let's 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 put this away. So, ah, nuts. Everything collapsed again. Oh, well. We're just, we're just closing it up. It's super small. It's super cool. I'll have to find that little gun. It's somewhere. It bounced around. Uh, it, it will get discovered. But at the same time, you know, it's worth it to showcase that this trailer's really neat. The trailer's cool. And why we never get a trailer, I don't know. But I am a little sad by it. I am a little saddened that we never get a trailer. And we never get a little roller to go with it. Where's our little roller friend? Here's a little roller friend. Oh, a little roller. He's adorable. So, no trailer, no roller. Knocking things over here at Blind Prime. All the time knocking things over. It'd be cool if I could just, you know, reduce my strength when I'm doing these so I don't knock things over. I'm just so weak. Ah, I knocked it over, pretending to be weak. So, here is some things that you could get for $80. Back in 2005... No trailer. You got this for $80. I had to drop it a little bit on the table just to give you the emphasis on the power of MP01 Optimus Prime. MP01 Optimus Prime is one of the best Optimus Primes they ever made. I will die on that hill. I love this guy. I think he's cool. He's the only Masterpiece Prime I've ever been able to afford. He's the only Masterpiece Prime that's ever been within my budget and the entirety of Masterpiece Primes. This is it. This is the only one that was in my budget. And I saved up for half a year to get him. So that was back in high school. Anyway, that's Optimus Prime. That's how big it is. So give you a size comparison. We've got... Where, where, where have we got him? Where have we got him? I set him down. I set him down. Where did I set him down at? Here he is. Little, little core class Optimus Prime compared to Masterpiece. Look at that. And Hot Wheels is going to be smaller than this. So this masterpiece cost me eighty. Yeah, it was nineteen. It was it was two thousand and five when I bought this masterpiece, but it still cost me eighty bucks. Okay. Next step. Let's look at something else that cost eighty more dramatically in the future, and compare that to a product that will cost you eighty. Here is Skylinks. Oh, Commander Class Skylinks. Let's look at the Optimus Prime. Look at the difference there. It's insane. It's it just doesn't make any sense. So, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the video, my question to you, will you be buying this? And if not, then why not? And if so, then why so? Um, do you also feel like me and are very upset of the lack of trailer or roller? Or just any of the... It, it just feels like we're, we're missing those things. And also, I, I don't know if this will lose me subscribers or not, but I've never been a fan of... I mean, when I was a kid, I loved the, the G1 Optimus Prime here. I thought G1 Optimus Prime was cool. But 
when I grew up, there were better primes. So G1 Optimus Prime, though, it will always hold a special place in my heart. I'm not out. I'm not going to get more G1 Optimus Primes because I don't really want more. And he does have a bit of an elbow. Look at that. See, see, this, that's how long ago I've touched this. Okay, that I, I actually probably transformed this thing last ten years ago, maybe more. Uh, it's just been sitting in a cupboard, but I wanted to bring it out and transform it for y'all today to kind of showcase what you'd be getting with the Hot Wheels thing, and that I personally think that we should vote with our wallets here. This is the one I'm calling. This is the one that I think went too far. If they charged 40 for it, if they charged 50 for it, I could have argued 50, okay? But I would have bought it at 40 without without even thinking. But 50, I would have argued. 80? No, no. We I got a tidal wave I need to get this year. I got to buy tidal wave. I also have got to get, you know, the rumored Studio Series 86 Commander Class Optimus Prime, which will probably cost 90 bucks. 10 bucks more, and you'll be getting an Optimus Prime, a trailer, a roller, and all sorts of cool gigs, because they, they they said it was the um, MP44 downsized. Now, MP44 Optimus Prime came out in 2019, and it, or 2020, and MP4, uh, MP44 Optimus Prime was $500, but it came with so much cool stuff, and its transformation was apparently really neat. I, of course, couldn't afford it because, you know, that's just entirely out of my price range. You know, not even to mention the Robas and stuff, which, I mean, $400 is out of Blind Prime's price range. You bet your ass $900 is out of Blind Prime's price range. I love that they tried to yell, tell you how, how cheap the Megatron was. Like, is it $2,000? Is it $3,000? Is it $4,000? No, it's only nine hundred dollars. And I'm like, at a time where bread is four dollars a piece, that is not for me. I am not the target audience of that toy. I mean, not not to mention the fact I'm blind and have what? What am I gonna do? Just stare there and listen? I can watch videos of people getting it to transform to listen how it transforms, but there's nothing fun in it for me. The fun in Transformers is getting in the hands on and actually transforming the stuff. And, and, and getting complicated transformers that take you a little while to transform with more than 30 steps. You give me something with 50 steps, I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy guy. I may take a little while to figure it out, but you know what? I'm enjoying myself. And that's the point to transformers, is to have fun and enjoy yourself. And that's why I think let let the Hot Wheels audience have this one, my, my, my listeners, my viewers. Let those Hot Wheels fanatics... Pay the 80 bucks for that Optimus Prime. They'll do it, I bet. I'm not sure, though, because I've never heard of a Hot Wheels car ever costing 80 bucks before. So they may actually be the first to do this. I mean, it could be a lot of firsts for uh, for Hot Wheels. It won't be their first transform or converting thing because they did those, those cool little surfing car guys back in the early 2000s. But you know, I used to have one of those. I thought they were neat. But this will be the first Transformer brand name they're doing. And this will be an interesting thing to, to witness, but uh, I will witness it from the sidelines. I will not be participating in this game. I'm going to let the Hot Wheels fans have it because, you know what, they don't have a Transformer. So let them have a Transformer, but at the same time, let's all complain about the price because 80 bucks is too much. $40 is reasonable. My suggestion to you is if they don't sell out, wait for it to go on sale. Thanks all for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please go below and discuss with me. What do you think about this Hot Wheels Optimus Prime? Do you think its price is astronomical like I do? Do you think they could have included more for such a price like I do? Or do you think it's reasonable? And also, is there a Hot Wheels car that has ever cost 80 bucks on the shelf? I'm not, I'm not talking about collectibles. I just mean on the shelf. Have you ever heard of a Hot Wheels car costing you $80 off the peg? Let me know in the comments below all those things. And thank you all so much for enjoying today's video with me. I've enjoyed talking to you today about it and ranting about this Hot Wheels car. Wow, you know, I've been thinking about it all all week since, since I heard about it. And I'm just like, I, I need to make a video. And I need to tell my audience what my opinion on this is. And what my opinion on this is, is you know, that's just entirely too much money for what they're asking. They're just, they're, they're just asking for this. And, I, and Hasbro doesn't even ask you for $80 for G1 Optimus Prime. 
without trailer. Thanks again for watching. Until next prime. Bye bye for now.